I want to bring in another library into our uh, website build and this is going to be font awesome and this is uh, so this is available from bootstrap and it's commonly used when you're developing with bootstrap and it gives you the ability to have a whole bunch of really cool icons and use of a whole bunch of really cool icons so we're gonna bring that in the same way that we bought bootstrap into our website and just add another line there linking to it so now we have access to font awesome and font awesome really truly is awesome uh, so we want to add in another menu item here so when we're shrinking down our website I want to have a clickable link here that we can open our menu and hide our menu as needed so let's uh, create a hyperlink here and so this is going to be an href and uh, this is just going to be the trigger for the menu so it doesn't actually have to link anywhere and we're just going to give it an ID and maybe we'll just call it mini menu and then here is where we're going to use font awesome so icon class and this is where we can specify FA so we specify the class that we want it to use so it's FA and it's FA bars and I'll just close that eye down and refresh it and we can see that this is giving us that menu bar that we want it to utilize within our website so this is perfect but we do want to hide this as well um, because we're not going to be making use of it and one of the downsides here is that it's taking that hyperlink property that we've got within those menus so this is not really ideal so let's just use a div here and make this a clickable div so we're going to make this show up and let's make this one uh, so we're, we're going to go into our text here and we're going to make this one larger so let's um, We'll make it large up here so the FA bars and we'll do font size and we'll do 2EM for it so it makes it nice and big there and nice and visible within our page so whenever we shrink it down what we want to do is show this uh, so first up what we want to do with our mini menu we want to display none and then whenever we shrink down our website we want to uh, display it as block so we're going to do display none and that will hide it and then when we shrink it down when we want to have access to our menu we want to do display block so let's add that in and refresh it and now whenever we shrink it down so that we've got our menu there and we can actually get rid of this green color because this uh, this was just for demonstration purposes that wherever we're hitting that uh, breaking point so as we continue uh, let's continue to build out this menu and make it more responsive so let's make this bigger and in the next lesson we're going to tackle the way that our menu gets presented whenever we shrink it down so this is uh, now it's gone but when we get it bigger uh, we need to be able to present this menu and ideally what we want to do is present the menu just underneath this head section underneath the company name and slogan uh, so this is something that may be a little bit tricky to present uh, so we're gonna see uh, what we can do but working on this and updating and showing that menu whenever we shrink it down and in place of these icons so I want to hide all of these or I want to move all of these around I want to move the nav bar around but I just want to show this one part so it could be a little bit tricky and we might have to uh, hide this menu entirely and show an entirely separate menu because we've got this one floating within here uh, so let's work on that within the next lesson